Okay, so I'm coming at you live from my internet cave. You want to see it? Okay, well, this is like, it's really hard to show up here. Anyway, this is like my pantry and some pillows and here's all my blankets and I have some pictures up. And you're in one of them! Uh, that's Providence. That's you. That's New York. That's Brooklyn. Pancakes. Vermont. The farm. New York. Me petting that horse. And my grandma's house, mainly, over here. And some Utah stuff. So yeah, I still have to put up more pictures, but I'm pretty happy about this pillow situation. And yeah, it's it's just really nice to be in here. And so this is like the opening Um Can you see what's going on there? Well anyway, that's the door and then the opening is really small and that's my refrigerator and then the rest is my kitchen. So yeah, this this is the best place I've ever been. Besides observatory. Anyway. You went to the beehive tea room today. I'm jealous of you. It sounds really nice. And you, oh, you, and you went to Food Not Bombs, and you saw all these people that you didn't know you missed. And that sounds nice. I like when you're happy there, and you're you have friends, and things make you happy. And when you have happy videos, those are really nice. I already left you a voicemail telling you all about what's going on with me, so I'm not going to tell you again. I'm just going to tell you I still feel, like, guilty, even though I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Actually, I've been really mild. I wonder how, like, real... Uh, you know... I don't know. <laughs> um... Yeah, so... And this weekend's going to be crazy, too, because I'm supposed to go like watch a movie or something with Nick is black hipster's name. I'm just gonna start calling him Nick because I don't <laughs> he's probably not nearly as hipster as your Utah one too. He's like hipster for Johnson and Wales, which is not saying anything. <laughs> he's just like more enlightened and knows more things on the internet and dresses a little bit different than everybody. <laughs> but anyway. He's, he's really, really warm. I really like to be around him. And he was so awkward today. So awkward. So cute. I wonder if he is like the one in Utah. But, yeah. And my professor. I don't even know. I'm not going to read into that. But it didn't. It still makes me feel nice that he talks to me. <laughs> and he wants to know how my job is. If he comes and visits me at work, I'll melt. I'll just die. And the fact that he asked where I lived, I ha as soon as he said it, I imagined him, like, driving by my place. <laughs> um, I don't know if he'd actually do that. He doesn't just talk about how creepy he is. <gasps> he told this story today. This guy did a demonstration on, um, like, how to have a perfect date, and it was so stupid. It was, like, all of the things that he was talking about, I was like, those wouldn't work on me or anyone I know. And, like, the stuff they talk about, they're like talk about how you, whenever you go on a date or you have a prospective person you want to be with, how you need, like, approval from everyone, all your girlfriends, and, and then they talk about girls are bitches, and, like, stuff like that, and I was like, none of my girlfriends are bitches, and, like, none of them hate on other girls like that so easily, and, I mean, I like their approval for a guy, but it's, I don't know. Mainly, I just like you guys more than who I'm going to be with. So, I don't know. And, yeah. So, anyway, he told what how he... My professor talked about how he would, like... He thought it was a foolproof way to get a date. And he said that you... You go to the gym at the same time as another... As the, the girl that you're interested in. And then, you know... You find, you know, like, 
you get in there and then you, you see her leaving and you leave at the same time and then you get out there and oops she had a flat tire how did that happen <laughs> then so then you're there to be the nice guy who's like oh I'll fix your flat tire and also me oh would you like to go out for coffee sometime <laughs> So, anyway, I was like, no. <laughs> My professor just talks about this stuff. Anyway. Uh, hmm. And, yeah, and Kyle and I made, I made white chocolate chip coconut pancakes, ginger syrup, and we ate them on the floor. I have a table, but I still like eating on the floor better. <laughs> well, I don't know why I got it. That was so much fun in Asheville when we did it. I shouldn't have just not gotten a table. Anyway. Anyway, tell me more about your day. And I'm supposed to go to this music thing in ten minutes, and I'm feeling weird about it. But I think I'm still going to go. So I'll let you know how that is. And... Anyway. Thank you for all the videos. <gasps> oh, and that, the family looked so cute. They were so sweet looking. That mom looks like someone I want to be friends with. Mm, so sweet. Okay. Well. Bye. <laughs>